There are several tools in LightWave that allow you to bevel geometry. If we come over to the Multiply tab, we'll see Bevel, Edge Bevel, Rounder. We've got Smooth Shift, Multi Shift, Extender Plus. We've got Rail Bevel. We've got all different types of tools that we can use. But one tool that can get you multiple bevels uh, with just a click and a drag is the magic bevel found under multiply extend more magic bevel and when you activate magic bevel you get a handle this little blue circle is a handle you get a little handle for each polygon that you have selected and since I had nothing selected everything is selected and I can just left click and drag and I'm performing multiple bevels just by left clicking and dragging and I can just pull that out just like so. Now, there's far more control and power with this tool, but you have to go into the numeric panel. I'm just going to um, undo that, in for numeric, and most people forget to check out the numeric panel for the magic bevel, and they just start pulling. They're like, well, I don't have as much control as I'd like. Well, you can have a lot of control and a lot of options um, right here in the, the numeric panel. So, I'm going to slide this over here so we can take a look, and I'm going to pull out a couple little bevels here okay and right now my operation is set to extrude which means I'm going to extrude these faces I'm going to bevel out these faces um, just by clicking and dragging if I change my operation to edit path I can actually go in and I get a handle for each extrusion for each bevel that was made okay and I can adjust each one of these before I commit to it. Now if I commit to it, it's too late. I can't I can't do it. Okay. So you'll want to go in here and adjust these before you commit. I can also come over to delete not. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I accidentally had too many, I'm just left clicking and dragging. And I can just get rid of any of the extra bevels, uh, <clears throat> which are referred to as knots in Magic Bevel. Uh, and I can just get rid of them by clicking on them. If I, <clears throat> excuse me, if I decide that the, um, I didn't like one of these paths, I can just go to delete path and click on the end and I can get rid of it. Okay, and I got rid of all of them. So I'm going to go back to extrude and I'm going to pick one of these to extrude out. And I like the shape that I've made, but I want to evenly space these bevels and I just click on the end with uniform spans and now I've got them evenly spaced. I can also use the straighten operation to straighten out the bevel. So I can go back to extrude, build some crazy curves, go over to straight and just straighten out those those paths. Okay, I'm gonna click over here I'm going to switch to four windows and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to turn symmetry on so that when I pull from one side see my axis is set to X when I pull to one side it pulls out the other as well now if I don't have symmetry on and say I pull this side out if I turn symmetry back on and I want to have the other side catch up with what I did, I can sync symmetry. Okay, So now I'm going to turn symmetry off and I'm going to pull from the other side, turn symmetry on, and I need to change my sync direction and then sync symmetry. Okay, So that's an easy way to work with symmetry and if you don't start off working with symmetry you can always get it symmetrical. Okay, So I'm going to stop that um, let's come over here and in for numeric if I pull this out see how it's getting smaller it's it's tapering in that's the scale it's set to 90 percent which means the first um, shape is once you get to the next extrusion once you get to, get to the next knot it's gonna be 90 percent smaller 90 percent smaller 90 percent smaller 90 percent all the way up to here but you can change that you can make it taper down faster you can have it so that it doesn't taper at all okay you can also spin 
So for each knot, it's going to spin, in this case, 15 degrees. Okay, so you can get some nice uh, uh, horns here. You can get some uh, interesting uh, dragon horns or, uh, you know, interesting uh, spiral staircase like uh, railing going on there. Precision is going to determine its mouse sensitivity. So you can set that uh, uh, depending on if you're getting too many curves, sorry, too many knots while you're working. You can always change the precision setting. You can also have it uh, uh, set up UV maps for you automatically. You need to have a UV map made and then you can choose to, um, to have it automatically UV map these bevels. Um, so you can work that way. So don't forget that with Magic Bevel, you can do more than just extrude if you go and work with the different operations. Okay? It's something that most people forget about. I'm just straightening these out, but they, they're still spun. We, we're still spinning them, uh, but I'm just straightening them, straightening them out. I can make sure that they're evenly spaced with uniform spans. And I've got, I can edit the path and delete delete knots and, and things like that. So uh, one last thing uh, that I want to show is I'm going to take the spin down to zero and I'm going to extrude. If I right click I'm committing and then I can extrude right off of the one that I just did. Okay, So you don't have to keep committing and then coming back to the tool. So that's just a quick look at Magic Bevel. It's a really quick way to get things like um, uh, tree branches. Um, you can get uh, some neat cartoon hair, uh, any kind of uh, like octopus uh, tentacles and, and things like that. It's a really quick way if you're wanting to perform multiple bevel operations on a surface.